But that's Renee and friends. And one of the friends is Maya Rudolph singing together here on Kids Place Live. Nobody Like You from Disney and Pixar's Turning Red coming up in a little bit. Four Town, Four Star Town in a little bit. We've also got some Four Tops. No star, just four tops. No, no not, not four star tops. It's not the same. It's F O U R two. It's not the number four. Anyway. It's just old school music. It's fun. It's coming up in a bit. Hi, I'm Kenny. It's the Animal Farm. We've got Wolfpack on the way with a funky duck, and we've got voicemail messages galore at one eight six six three two eight two three four five. You guys press two. You leave a message. Uh, Julia and Abby from California called in uh, independently of each other, but they both love the chipmunk. Jackie loves polar bears. Thank you for that, Jackie. Juliet from Rhode Island is a Lorenzo Llama fan. Thank you for tuning in, as is Jake from Alabama, a Lorenzo Llama fan. Finn from Colorado is a Lorenzo Llama fan. And this person, also a fan of our nervous llama friend, Lorenzo Llama. 866-328-2345. My name is Michael, and, and I've been listening to you guys for a long, long time. Oh, great, okay. man. I have something to say for Lorenzo. Okay. I know he doesn't like people touching him, but what if he puts on a saddle or they wear gloves? But then they're, they're not touching him physically. Right. Yeah. What about that, Lorenzo, huh? Whoa. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank we got you. this before. And your guys' show has always been my favorite. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you, yeah, Michael. Thanks for thank saying that. Thank you very that. much, Michael. It's very nice of you to say. Yeah. Yeah, you're awesome, too. Thank yeah, you very thanks, much Michael. for that. There's a good question of uh, gloves. You know, truth is, sometimes, sometimes, uh -huh. there, you know, there has to, you know, people just have to, you know, it has to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't, like, live in a world where no one ever makes contact with you. Yeah, uh, it's hard to I have do a lot of personal space, and I don't like people grabbing at me without my permission. Right. There's a thing. Do you need permission? Permission. You know yes. permission? Can you know permission? I know permission, yes. Permission? Yes. You know, for like a slip. Sometimes yeah. a slip. Yes. Form. I, I, permission slip. I know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You have to get permission. You have to say, hey, listen, right. I need to cut your fur. Right. I need to brush you. Right. Do you mention, I don't like it, but it will be okay. And yes, I do. I do prefer if there are gloves. I do. Yes, he I does. Do. Yes, do. you do. I, yeah, do. I know that the, the trainers handle these gloves. So the yeah. thing is, the thing is, it's not that people can't touch a llama. They can't touch a llama without permission. Right. Now, a petting zoo, sometimes Good you point. think you have permission, and it's important that you know you can't just go up and start grabbing Right. Yeah. This is actually a good thing for anybody, like a stranger's dog or another person. You need to ask, hey, can I pet your dog or can I say hi? That is true. Yeah. You should, you should, hey, can I touch your llama? And the right. answer is, no, no touching the llama. No. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little less screaming than that, but yeah. Right. So does that mean that, like, a regular person could touch the llama? Well, yeah, sure. Really? He's got to sign the slip. Slip? What slip? The permission slip. There's a permission slip to touch the llama? Really? Yeah, for, Form 9451D. L. Form 9541D? L. L? Form 9541D? Yeah, Form 9541D, L. Really? Yeah. Is that like an application? Also known as the Llama Access Request Form. The Llama Access Request Form. Yeah. You just fill that out. Oh. Okay. Scan it. Email it in. And we'll get back to you in three to five weeks after your form is processed. Okay. And then all you got to do is have a short, you know, in-person interview. Oh, there's an interview for this. Scan and send a government ID and get a fingerprint test and a blood sample, and that's it. Yeah, no problem wow. at all. Wow, that seems like you're making this unnecessarily complicated, Lorenzo. What? No. What? No. Seems like it. You but know. it would be easier just to not touch a llama at all. You know, right. just saying. Uh, right. Just saying. Sure, yeah. Well, at least we know that we have to ask permission and not just run up and touch you, which is probably a good rule of thumb for just about anybody. Uh, but what about wearing a saddle for riders and stuff? Well, I would never be your beast of burden, and Chris. Right. Never. Never. Ever. 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 My back is broad, but it's a hurt. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it is. But we'll just rule that out. Yeah, that would be best. 